So hello there guys and what's up? Welcome to Evers Fly Workshop. Um, today we are going to be tying a fly that has been requested by an Icelandic guy called Floki. And this is like a beetle, like um, one of those beetles that you can actually use as a indicator or a dry dropper. And uh, the one we are going to tie is going to be looking similar like those two with like a red foam on the back for us as, as an indicator for us to see the beetle better in the water and uh, yeah, here is another example of uh, what you can actually do with uh, the craft foam, playing with the craft foam but um, those beetles are getting like more and more common here in Iceland to use uh, when you're fishing, especially brown trout, and you're fishing it in running water. Uh, the uh, hook we are using, that's an RX uh, traditional nymph number 10. And we are using a heavy thread for this one, a Semperfly uh, 110 year black one. Uh, an nano silk one, and I prefer to use this um, this thicker thread for this, uh, simply because like a thin thread is like often not strong enough to make all the put all the tension on the uh, on the foam you need, and also that like a too thin uh, thread can actually cut through the foam, and that's something that we do not want to happen. Uh, we are using like a red foam for this fly for the underbody. So it's going to have like a underbody in separated like segments. But uh, look at, we are measuring about the width, width of the hook cage. That's about the, um, the thickness of the foam you need. And this foam we are using, that's just like a craft, craft store foam, a two millimeter craft store foam. And we have to leave this uh, space behind the, um, behind the eye of the hook uh, before we start to wrap everything and uh, attach everything down. That's very important. And we have to, like we say, after the first couple of turns, uh, when we are getting the foam, uh, securely down on the hook, you need to adjust it with your finger, definitely. And don't be shy on doing that. While we are creating the segments, we move the thread backwards, like behind the foam, and we take like two or three wraps, three wraps, to create like a body of the of the fly. You can let the foam turn upside down in this and let the belly, you know, those segments face downwards, but um, I will, I, I just do it like this, uh, like I'm doing it big simply because um, we don't want uh, the hook gap to be trapped off or, or we don't that don't want that to be narrow in any, any, any mean necessary. So here we have the end of the, end of the fly. And uh, see how it looks from the below. That that is what the fish is going to see when it's uh, attacking the the beetle uh, from below. And technically, you could like add some some uh, glimmer or some stuff uh, to it, but uh, we are going to uh, leave it like this. I'm just showing. This beetles here with this uh, on the back, for an example, this uh, tinsel. We are not going to add that one here. You can use uh, peacock hair for the body of this fly. It's like, you know, it kind of uh, varies and depends on what you like. This is a foam that I found in the in the local craft store in Reykjavik. And it has like a, it's like a scattered with glimmer, like a black glimmer on the back. So it's really shiny. And it's, uh, I believe, very, it's very effective. I haven't tried that exactly, that, that beetle that we are tying right now, but uh, 
I fished those beetles for a few years and with uh, really good results. Especially in running water, when you get like a really good dead drift on them. It's like a really, when they often attack the beetle, not the fly that if you're, if you're using like a fly below. Yeah, remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel. And uh, when we attach this uh, back of the of the beetle, like ready, uh, on the back, we are going to whip finish here, like a couple of knots maybe. And we are going to bring the thread, thread forward simply to um, get like a thinner thread for the rest of the fly. I'm going to use like a 50 10 year uh, same type of thread except the thinner one. And uh, you can tie this beetle way more complicated if you want. It's just all up to you guys and what uh, prefer preferences you have on the on the color and stuff like that. It just all depends on on your own preferences. Um, bring the thread to the first segment of the fly, and then we fold the back with the foam that creates the back of, the, of our beetle. You can see how it looks. So you have those separated colors. You have this uh, black and then red. It's like two different colors and black and red actually goes very well with uh, with each other as a color just in general in fly tying. Uh, those two colors are often deadly together. So, so many buttons uh, that we know of. Uh, we attach the uh, foam down like this with a few tight wraps. Then we will... Um, yeah, make sure that we have this space in front of the uh, front of the hat, right behind the hat. Uh, this uh, red foam that we are putting on there, that is just like a, it's like an indicator for us to see the beetle while it's floating. It makes it like in different lights and and sunny and and so so. It makes it easier for us to see the see the beetle. You could technically you could put like a white uh, piece of a phone up there as well. Then you have black and white, so you can kind of have both. You could uh, also place like a red one or like a yellow one, blend them together. It's like many so many uh, possible ways to do that. Now we cut cut the foam away from the front of it, and we are selecting those uh, legs. I'm using uh, red and black. Uh, silicone skirt legs that I found online and uh, while we are working with those uh, legs I'm I'm usually usually just uh, putting them around I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom out to show you just putting them around the thread like so and then we wrap the thread in and we can you can kind of tune in about where where your uh, legs will end up and after just wrapping it once you can adjust the legs it's uh, you can really bend the rules on that you can yeah adjust the legs as much as needed and then we take those tighter wraps and you adjust the legs by you can pull them so they stand out from e each other uh, it also depends on you know your preferences if you like the legs to stick up like this like I'm doing or if you have them like more down so they're laying in the water creating movement it's um, just depends on who is tying the fly and, and and what preferences you have actually I will just attach uh, and adjust the uh, legs like this and you can really see uh, this color combination of the of the fly or the beetle. Here is a green one uh, with a CDC wing, for an example, with a folded hat. You know, it's uh, kind of all up to you how you how you uh, make the beetle. This way, I'm tying it. I'm tying it in a simple, rather simple way of tying a beetle. You could like skip the uh, foam body and keep just stick with a peacock or even topping, but it's all up to you. Uh, cutting the legs here, 
um, I want to, like with the rear legs, keep the length of him like something like this, a little bit behind the uh, body, and the front legs, on the leg on the legs on the front. Uh, pay attention to the piece of foam in the front. So from that foam, I want to have the legs like the length of this black foam, so so circa about um, I'll show you about here. So if you cut it right here, it's gonna be just fine. And we'll do the same thing with the other leg. And you can kind of measure it. It's about the length of the black foam. Then we are going to you know trim the foam as needed to take the corners off it and stuff like that. So. You can yeah tie it in hard to, to reverse there a little bit and you can always pull those legs those uh, silicone legs just to get them in the place you want uh, this video is like requested by an icelandic angler and like i said we use those beetles quite a bit here especially in running water and uh, to use them as dry droppers, as a, yeah, like a strike indicator when you are fishing wets or, or, or even nymphs uh, below. It all depends on what you want. Um, we'll just do a whip finish uh, right behind the hook eye and uh, just like a couple of knots, and then the fly should be kind of good to go. I know it's a rather long video, but I'm doing it, uh, of course, the Icelandic version is uh, <laughs> I'm explaining exactly everything I'm doing there because I'm trying to provide like a good material to teach uh, young, younger generations fly tying and uh, and as well the the other other people who are tying. Um, Sapag app would not work out, neither would the uh, cellulose uh, uh, had cement uh, work out with the silicon uh, legs so we will just use uh, use this solar bone cure for the knot to secure the knots by right there uh, like on the middle of the body and then the uh, knot behind the hook hook eye and uh, the the form and the silicon legs will just be It'd be just about fine with uh, with this material. It's not gonna eat in or or like uh, decompose the silicon, like some of the other materials will might do. And when you <laughs> when you show up with the fly, the fly is ruined, you know, in your box. It, don't, it doesn't happen immediately, but it's gonna happen. So the Mercedes Beetle, like I call it, we could call it. Volkswagen Beetle or Audi Beetle or just from any other German brand car Beetle, you know, but we'll call this one a Mercedes just for the fun of it. And uh, the final step, we'll just sap it with our light. And I'm gonna, like I told you, I'm gonna trim the corners here just uh, in case to get them like a little bit around it. Uh, remember though, if you trim this piece of a foam, I mean, also, the more foam you remove, uh, you are like uh, decreasing the buoyancy of the fly or the beetle. So here the uh, Mercedes beetle is ready to go fishing with. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel. And you can consider to uh, support the channel if you like. Uh, the descriptions of the video and the pattern of the fly is in the, uh, right below the video. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.